Donald Trump kicks off presidential campaign. Ex-US President Donald Trump has kicked off his presidential election campaign, having visited New Hampshire and South Carolina, CNBC reported. According to the TV channel, campaign's events differed from the raucous rallies in front of thousands of devotees, usual for Trump. For instance, in Columbia, South Carolina, the former president met with about 200 people. I'm more angry now, and I'm more committed now than I ever was, Trump told a small crowd at New Hampshire Republican Party's annual meeting in Salem before heading to Columbia, South Carolina for an appearance alongside his leadership team in the state. Trump's aides view this as a first step to the public phase of the 2024 election campaign. In his speech, he focused on criticizing the Biden administration's foreign policy decisions. Many Republicans are also considering the possibility of launching their own White House bid. For example, New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu and former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley may throw their hats into the ring. On November the 15th, Trump said that he would participate in the 2024 presidential election. The incumbent US president said that he planned to run for re-election on November the 9th, but cautioned that he would make the final decision in early 2023. Numerous Republicans are considering whether to launch their own White House bids, including Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, widely seen as the biggest threat to Trump. Trump. Top Republicans in both states that the former president visited, including New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu and former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, are among those weighing bids of their own. There were several conspicuous absences in South Carolina, including the state party chairman, five Republican U.S. representatives from the state and South Carolina U.S. Senator Tim Scott, who has himself been floated as a potential Republican presidential candidate. Trump attempted to allay those concerns, telling the crowd that he expected a wave of additional endorsements from the South Carolina's state and federal lawmakers within days.